An athlete trains by dragging a heavy load across a rough horizontal surface. The athlete exerts a force F on the load at an angle of 25 degrees to the horizontal. A. Once the load is moving at a constant speed, the average horizontal friction force acting upon the load is 470 newtons. Calculate the average force that will enable the load to move at a constant speed. So the fact that it is at a constant speed indicates that the um, net force on the system is zero, which means that the frictional force, which is acting in this direction, has to be equal to the x component of this force. So um, F friction has to be equal to the x component of that force that the man is pulling, which would be F cosine theta. So it gives you the horizontal frictional force which is 470, which has to be equal to F cosine of 25. So if you solve for F, you have F is equal to 518 newtons. And that again is this component of the force. Okay. The next question it says that the load is moved a horizontal distance of 2.5 kilometers in 1.2 hours. Calculate the work um, done on the load by the force F. So if we set up the equation W equals Fs cosine theta, we just solved for F, so W equals 518S, which is 2.5 kilometers, which is equal to uh, Two five zero 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 meters times cosine of twenty five degrees, and this gives you a work of one one seven three six nine eight joules, um, which is approximately equal to one point two megajoules. The next question, it says, what is the minimum average power needed to move the load? So power equals work over time. Um, we just calculated the work, so we're going to use the actual value. So it's 117369 over time, and it's gives in 1.2 hours, which is 1.2 times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. And this is going to give you a power of approximately 272 watts. So this is uh, question B, which is talking about momentum. This question is talking about momentum. It says, in an experiment to measure the speed of a bullet, the bullet is fired into a piece of uh, palestine suspended from a rigid support by a light thread. The speed of the bullet on impact with the Plasticine is V. As a result of the impact, the bullet embeds itself in the plasticine. The plasticine is displaced vertically through a height of 24 centimeters. The mass of the bullet is 5.2 times 10 to the negative third kilograms, and the mass of the plasticine is 0 0.38 kilograms. It says, ignoring the mass of the bullet, calculate the speed of the plasticine immediately after the impact. So for this problem, we're going to use the equation V which is velocity equals the square root of 2gh. And this is derived by setting kinetic energy equal to potential energy and solving for velocity. So it says ignoring the mass of the bullet. So plugging in values, you get velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times g, which is 10 meters per second squared, times height, which is uh, 2.4 centimeters. So. you get a velocity of approximately 2.2 meters per second. The next problem says to deduce that the speed v, which with the bullet strikes the plasticine, is about 160 meters per second. So for this one, for this one, due to the conservation of momentum, mv before is going to equal to, it's going to be equal to mv after. So mv equals mv. For the first one, we're going to take the mass of the bullet, which is 
5.2 times 10 to the negative third kilograms times the velocity of the bolt, which we're solving for, is equal to the mass afterward, which is the mass of the plasticine. 0 0.38 times the velocity, which they give as, which we just solved as 2.2 meters per second. So solving for V, you get a velocity of 160.77 meters per second, which is approximately 160 meters per second. And the final problem says to estimate the kinetic energy lost at impact. So the kinetic energy before, again, is equal to 1 half mv squared. So, which is equal to one half times the mass of the bullet times the velocity, which we just calculated as 160 squared. And this yields a kinetic energy of 600, sorry, 66.567. Joules. And then that the final energy is not in the form of kinetic energy, but rather it's in the form of potential energy. So potential energy, which is equal to mass times gravity times height, is when the pendulum is at the end of its swing. So you have mass of 0 0.38, gravity again 9.8 meters per second squared and a height of 0.24 meters, which yields a uh, final energy of 0.89. So to find the, the loss of kinetic energy at the impact, you have to take the energy before, which was uh, 66.57 approximately, and subtract what we just solved for. 0 0.89, and this is going to give you approximately 66 joules worth of energy that was lost during the impact.